God bless you. Uh, today's encouraging word comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse number 23. And the word says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Amen. Uh, in this day and age, we have to be very, very careful and very vigilant and vigilant, amen, to guard our heart. Amen. Uh, as the word says here in Proverbs 4 and 23, out of our heart flow the issues of life. Uh, Jesus said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And once we speak as people of God, we have the same creative power as our God to speak things into existence. Uh, we know from the Genesis story that God said, and it was, amen, he spoke the world into existence. And similarly, we speak our world into existence. But the words that we speak emanate from our heart. Amen. And so we truly have to guard our heart diligently each and every day to make sure that what goes in, amen, is consistent with the word of God so that when we speak, we speak consistent with the word of God. Because when we do that, we will then have and be and be able to do everything that God says about us. Amen. And so we have to guard our heart. Guard it against what? Guarded against fear and unbelief and doubt. Guarded against envying and bitterness and strife. Guarded against unforgiveness and division. Guarded against prejudice and hate. We have to guard our heart against any and all things that are contrary to the will and ways of our God. And that is something that we have to be very careful and mindful to do. Can't be a casual endeavor but we have to set our minds on it and be very, very careful to guard what comes into our heart because eventually what's in our heart, if it gets in there in abundance, is going to come out of our mouths. Amen. And so today I want to encourage you, amen, to uh, be on your post, amen, and guard your heart. Guard it faithfully and guard it diligently every day, each and every day, throughout every hour of the day. Amen. Only let those things in that are consistent with this word of God. Amen. When you do that, you will see your life transform for the better. Amen. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged. Amen. And stay on your post. Remember, Jesus does love you. And his love never fails.